Hello, my pretties. Are you ready for the scariest what's new in Chrome of them all? <laughs> There's an update to the death date upper limit for spooky cookies already in storage. CSS has new ghostly pseudo classes, a scary relative color syntax, and more. Fence frames have ghoulish improvements like ad sized macros and updates to automatic beacons, and there's plenty more. I'm Adriana Jara. Let's dive in and see what's boo for developers in Chrome 119. Since Chrome 104, newly created cookies or those updated with an expiration date have had that day capped at no more than 400 days in the future. This same limit will now be retroactively applied to cookies already in storage. The expiration dates on these cookies will be capped at no more than 400 days after the first time Chrome 119 or higher starts up and does a one-time database migration. The impact of this change will not be felt by users until at least 400 days after Chrome 119 is released, and then only for existing cookies that have not been updated in that period. Check out the article in the description for more information about these and other cookie-related updates. For CSS, we have three updates. Number one, the new user invalid and user valid pseudo classes that represent an element with incorrect or correct input respectively, but only after the user has significantly interacted with it. They are similar to the valid and invalid pseudo classes, but with the added constraint that the new pseudo classes only match after the user has interacted with the element. Number two, the relative color syntax allows developers to define colors by modifying the parameters of other colors. For example, the code in the screen results in a magenta that is 80% lighter. And number three, clip path now supports more values. The clip path property creates a clipping region that sets what part of an element should be shown. Parts that are inside the region are shown while those outside are hidden. Now you can use geometric box values like the example on the screen, as well as the functions x, y, w, h and rect that make it easier to specify rectangular or rounded rectangular clips. Check out the post in the description for the documentation for these CSS updates. A fence frame is an HTML element for embedded content. Similar to an iframe, but unlike iframes, fence frames restrict communication with their embedding context to allow the frame access to cross-site data without sharing with embedding context. In this version, fence frames added an additional format option for protected audience ad size macros. Now in the protected audience API, an opt-in feature allows you to macro the size of the ad that wins the auction into the ads URL, like the example on the screen. Also, automatic beacons will now send to all registered URLs. Previously, only destinations specified when calling set report event data for automatic beacons received automatic beacons, even if that destination called register add beacon in their worklet. Now, any destination that called register add beacon for reserved.top underscore navigation will get an automatic beacon, but only destinations specified in set report event data for automatic beacons will get automatic beacon data along with the beacon. Check out the link in the description for more information about fence frames. And of course, there is plenty more. Web SQL is fully removed as of Chrome 119. A reverse origin trial allows developers to continue to use Web SQL until Chrome 123. Now, the monitor type surfaces option can be used to prevent the user from sharing an entire screen with get display media. There's an origin trial that adds a full screen window features parameter to the window.open JavaScript API to allow the color to open a pop-up directly to full screen. All the details, including links, docs, and specs are in the post linked in the description. Hit the subscribe button now so that you don't miss the scariest Chrome DevTools video, spooky GUI challenges, and more. Yo soy Adriana Jara. 
And as soon as Chrome 120 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.